What's going on YouTube? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. Welcome back to my channel for another Lightroom mobile tutorial. Well, this tutorial you can also use for desktop. It's going to comply for both. But in this one, I'm going to show you guys how and why you should be adjusting with your RGB tone curves. But if you close your eyes... So for this tutorial, I'm just going to jump right in the app. I'm going to start to show you guys where to find the tone curves and how they affect your photo. So to locate them, go into the light panel and the top right hand corner, you're going to see curve. So you're going to see three, three different ones. You're going to or sorry, four different ones. You're going to see one that has all different colors, one that's red, one that's green and one's blue. So let's start with the far left one. So that's going to be your, your brightness or your darkness. So the very far left dot that represents pure blacks. The very right represents pure whites and the middle is going to be your midtones and your midtones are going to be split into a couple different categories. It's going to be your brighter midtones, which is going to be right here. And then your darker midtones, which is going to be right here. So within that, you can see that you're going to be broken down into further areas and you're going to see your reds, greens and blues. And as you guys can assume is those are going to be affecting different colors or the brightness of those colors specifically. Now, starting with your white one, you guys can see that if I adjust right here, it'll actually bring up all the shadows, but it'll leave a lot of the most of those bright ones. So if I put a dot, let's reset that. If I put a dot right in the middle and right at the top, that way those are anchor, anchored in and I adjust just this, you can notice all the shadows are adjusted. So let's really quickly reset those. So again, if I put one there and one there and I adjust right here, just the brights are adjusted and those are actually as you can see they're all straight at the top there that's going to be your pure white now let's say you go into your red now this is where it's going to get a little more complicated because the top side of the line is going to be to add red so if i go up it's going to add red and the bottom is actually going to add scion so if i go down you're going to see a lot of scion so again if I put two dots up here and I adjust just here, it's going to add just Scion into the shadows. Or if I go up, it's going to add just Scion into the highlights. Now for your green, if you go into here, the top part of the green is going to be to add green and the bottom is going to be to add magenta. So if, again, if I put two dots here and I go up, it adds green into the shadows. And if I go down, it's going to add magenta into the shadows. So let's reset those real quick and let's go into your blues. So the top part of the blues is gonna to be to add blues and the bottom part is gonna to be to add yellows. So again, like the other colors, if I add two dots up here and I go down here and I start to go this way, you're gonna see it's gonna add yellow into the photo. Now, if I go up, it's gonna add blue into the photo. So now let's say you guys wanna start applying this to a photo and how is that gonna really do anything? So let's go over into our light panel. Let's go over to our tone curves. Let's start with our basics. So what I want to do here is again, a basic S, which is going to be your basic thing you're going to be doing in any photos. But what I see in the shadows is a little bit of blue and a little bit of green. So what we can do is we can actually counter that out. So let's go to our greens for a second. Let's put a couple dots so we can anchor it. And let's go actually this way. So by doing that, I added magenta. So let's get rid of that a little bit. So let's go into our blues and let's get rid of those. So you guys can see that already. Now let's go into our reds and let's get rid of uh, just a little bit of the red there. Let's go a little bit more over here. Too much, too much, too much. Right about there. So let's look at a quick before and a quick after. Now let's go back in here real quick and let's actually go back over here because I think this is just a little bit too strong over here. Yeah, let's go right about there. So I'm actually doing an M on this one, with a slight curve there. So as you guys can see there, so let's see a before, and let's see an after. So as you guys can see, it's super easy to use this. And as long as you stick, to, stick together with the reds and the cyans, the greens, the magentas, and the blues and the yellows, you guys are gonna do just fine. It's harder than it thinks, but once you guys get practicing, it will get easier, trust me. So that's really it for this tutorial. If you guys found it helpful, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everybody.